So this week's intention, this week's goal is to have enough fiber in your diet, right? So let me know in the comment below if you have already started if you have already started paying attention to how much fiber that you are having, okay? And especially if you look at the guide that I gave out today, right? So if you're a woman, you need to have about 25 grams of dietary fiber from everything, from fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, beans, um, uh, multi-grains, for example. What else you can get fiber from? Yeah, you can get fiber from your supplements as well. You can get it from the Herbalife Active Fiber Complex. Right, so you can get fiber from a lot of things. Okay, so if you're only eating refined carbs like you know donuts and chocolates, or if you're only sticking to eating meat, you're not getting much fiber. Okay, so the whole intention is to encourage everybody to have more fibers in the diet, um, because what I've noticed is that um, during the ten day challenge, some of you were lacking the fiber in your meals. Like sometimes I'll see some of you would have rice. Um, with say chicken or you may have just like the meat with a lot of like um, you know bread for example so I don't see much um, vegetable present so the whole intention is actually to uh, help everybody create a habit of having as much vegetables as you can make your plate colorful okay now while I'm here live I thought you know it's good for me to share some benefits of having fiber in your diet and how can that actually help you with the weight management? And the, that's right, if you saw the title, you know, can fiber actually help you flush out um, calories? You know, you read it right. Actually, fiber can indirectly do that, okay? So eating fiber does not help you burn fat or like, you know, um, does not actually, how should I say it, you know, burn the calories, okay? It does not directly do that. But I'm gonna explain to you guys in the most simple way, most you know, clear way, how can I do that, right? So before we get into it, I want you guys to all know that fiber is good for you, okay? Firstly, you gotta repeat after me. Fiber is good for me, okay? Tell yourself that and write it out, write it down, tattoo in your head, fiber is good for me. Why? I'm gonna give you some of the common benefits of having fiber. Fiber fights heart disease and diabetes, uh, diabetes. Okay, and high fiber food, especially if you have a lot of high fiber food, keeps your bowel movement regular, right? And I know that, you know, it's very common in the modern lifestyle that a lot of people are uh, going through constipation, a lot of people feel bloated, a lot of people are having troubles going to the toilet, right? So those are actually also a result of not having enough high fiber food in your diet. So having high fiber food, if you can do a minimum, like, you know, 25 grams of fiber per day, for sure that your movement will be regular, right? At least you go to the toilet once a day, okay? And also, you know what? Fiber can also help you remove the toxins from your body as well, right? And also, not to mention, you know, having a good amount of fiber can actually decrease your chance of developing some chronic diseases such as colon cancer, hemorrhoids, you know, high cholesterol, heart disease, which I mentioned, high blood pressure, diabetes, and also obesity, okay? So these are some of the very, very, very important things we have to remember, okay? And actually for diabetes, I don't know if anyone here knows anybody that has diabetes, okay? Especially type two diabetes, okay? Type two diabetes is a lifestyle. It's usually caused by lifestyle, okay? Not something that you're born with. So when you actually eat good amount of fiber, okay, for people who are diabetics, it actually normalizes your blood sugar by actually slowing down the absorption of the food. So that, the glute, so that your glucose okay, enters your bloodstream much more slowly. So this is actually really good. And I've mentioned about you know, the, um, the GI in the food, in, especially in carbohydrate before, right? Glycemic index. So glycemic index is actually dealing with you know, how fast the glucose actually enters your bloodstream. Okay, so this is something I have to mention. Okay, here I'm going to mention about, um, so I mentioned about how high fiber is really good for your digestion, right? Your digestion health in general. Now, I'm going to explain to you how does actually eating fiber help you flush out calories, okay? I used the word flush. I didn't use the word burn, okay? So <laughs> how does it work, okay? So fiber in your body, fiber actually binds the fat, okay? The grease and the fat, Okay, so each gram, each gram of fiber can actually um, 
help you basically flush out about seven calories. Okay, so we're talking about how fiber, the process of fiber, without going to the science, the process of fiber binds the fat can actually help you, okay, actually flush out seven calories. Meaning that, you know, when you are eating good amount of fiber, you actually will have a better bowel movement and then you will actually like poop, you know, poop out a lot of like, you know, the fat, the grease that you actually ingested. Right. So if you let's do our math. Right. So each gram of fiber, you know, can actually help you poop out, flush out seven calories. So if you have 35 grams, right, 35 grams of fiber, then um, that's equivalent to 225 calories flushed. Right. So this is actually good news for you guys, especially those of you who are working on weight management, knowing that, oh, if I'm taking 35 grams of fiber, that helps me, you know, flush out 225 calories calories right this is something that uh, a lot of people don't talk about but it's part of the science and also um, it's something that I dug out from our information from nutrition information and I thought this is actually great to share with everybody here right but I do want everybody to know that you cannot rely on like some of you thinking okay I need to burn a lot of calories I need to burn a lot of calories right I'm just gonna sit here and keep stuffing my body with vegetables and fruits and all that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but if you overdose, right, we always talk about having a good balance. If you just like overdose yourself with so much uh, vegetables and fruit or beans and that, that is not healthy as well, right? Just look at how much you can actually digest. How big is your stomach? How much food can you, can you fit in there, right? So the reason why I'm sharing this with you is to let you guys see that if you are eating, say, you know, for women, 25 grams of, you know, um, dietary fiber in a day, I believe some of you who live on the high fiber diet, especially those of you who live on the plant-based diet, you're probably eating more than that, right? So let's say minimum 25 grams times seven. Okay. So now knowing that if you meet your daily dietary number 25 grams of daily dietary uh, fiber number right that helps you flush out 175 calories okay without you doing any exercise <laughs> right? or without you doing anything extra right that's surely good news okay so this is just to put things into perspective and just to show you guys how eating you know good amount of fiber in a day especially when you meet your quota can really help you with your weight management as well right so um actually like to give you guys a reference to put into perspective right so we're talking about just now i gave you a figure right if you have 35 grams of fiber okay in your body and then that will actually help you flush out 225 calories right and if you compare that to walking okay you need to walk about okay so you need to walk about one hour okay walk just walking for one hour that will actually if you're walking one hour that will help you burn approximately you know like 250 200 to 250 calories okay so if we just put that into perspective, you're like, okay, if I'm not doing my one hour walk today, but I've actually done my 25 grams of fiber, okay, like my diet has got enough fiber, you know, you know, at least 25 grams, then that's actually equivalent to actually burning 225 calories from one hour of walking. Okay, so just something to put into perspective. And of course, you know, by saying this, like I mentioned, I don't want you guys to cut out your, you know, exercise and your body movement and just sit there and, you know, rely on eating the calories. But it also goes to show that, you know, in our philosophy, 80% comes from your nutrition and 20% comes from your physical movement, your active lifestyle, your exercise, right? So this is something that I want to share with you guys. Um, and also to let you guys know why eating fiber is very important and it's really good for you right so this is something I want to share with you guys here today I will continue to share more tips and also different you know uh, recipes and different things about fiber throughout the week and also I might go into a little bit of uh, digestion you know bowel movement kind of science as well so that all of you guys can get a clear picture of you know how you can help yourself improve your digestion health and also how to get rid of things like bloating or any kind of inflammation in your stomach. 
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's talk and do let me know in the comment if you're watching the replay, um, you know, if you learned something, if you have any questions regarding fiber and fiber intake. And don't worry if you're still learning, no problems. You know, I will continue to share more examples and more like food examples so you know how you can actually help yourself add more fiber to your diet. Okay, guys, thank you, thank you. Oh, my God.